To my YouTube channel. I am so excited that you are here and I hope that you are having an absolutely fantastic morning, afternoon, or night, whatever it is for you when this video finally gets to you. Today's video is no word of a lie, no exaggeration, what my childhood nightmares were made of. I've told you guys so many times in the past that something that absolutely traumatized and terrified me as a kid was Bloody Mary. So much so that there was no word of a lie a year of my life that I would sleep with the light on, not just a night light, the actual light on because I was told it would keep Bloody Mary away. I was, I was that afraid. So as I got older, I was really fascinated by the origin of Bloody Mary, like where the legend itself came from and people's experiences with it. In the past, We've dove into all of that here on my channel, but recently I came across somebody's experience that they believe was to do with playing Bloody Mary that not only affected her, but she believes was passed down to her daughter. She says it's the haunting of Bloody Mary herself. I'm so curious to hear what you guys think of this particular encounter. I feel like it's gonna be pretty divided. I think there's gonna be a good chunk of you who think that it could have been from playing Bloody Mary and that perhaps the entity Bloody Mary did come forward. And then I think there's gonna be some of you who think that she just summoned something unknowingly. But I also know there's gonna be some of you who don't believe a word of it. So throughout this video, I would love to hear all of your guys' thoughts and opinions and theories down in the comment section. But with that being said, sit back, relax, maybe turn a light on because younger Haley thought that worked, and let's get into the haunting of Bloody Mary. Today's story starts with a woman named Joelle. Now growing up, Joelle was not somebody who was into anything to do with paranormal, not even into scary movies or anything of that nature either. Joelle was somebody who was really afraid of scary movies, of creepy stories, of anything in that realm. But at one point in her life, Joelle had heard about the legend of Bloody Mary. One night when Joelle was at a sleepover, the group of girls that she was having the sleepover with started talking about the legend of Bloody Mary, who Bloody Mary was, how you were to play the game, and what types of experiences you could have. Now at this particular sleepover, Joelle had no interest in participating in playing Bloody Mary. On this particular night, most of the girls who were at this sleepover went ahead to play the game. But Joelle, like I said, had no interest and went the entire night without summoning or playing Bloody Mary. During the sleepover, nobody had any crazy experiences or any insane reactions. It was the typical Bloody Mary experience that so many people have as children, where everybody like spooks each other out and you run out of the bathroom screaming, but nothing sinister or dark seemed to have happened on this night. Flash forward to a sleepover that Joelle would be hosting. Once again, another group of girls wanted to play Bloody Mary. Once again, Joelle had no interest in playing Bloody Mary, but the girls around her started to make fun of her. And because she was hosting the sleepover, she felt a sense of pressure to please like her guests, like to be the best sleepover host, so to speak. So after some persuading, Joelle decided, hey, look, people have done this before. All of my friends are okay. I highly doubt anything is going to happen. So into the bathroom, Joelle goes and she begins playing Bloody Mary. The bathroom that Joelle played Bloody Mary in was hers and her brother's bathroom. This was the upstairs bathroom between Joelle's room and her brother's room. The girls had been having a sleepover in Joelle's bedroom, and so they were all like waiting in the hallway for Joelle to go and play Bloody Mary. 
Now when Joelle turned the light back on and finished playing Bloody Mary, nothing seemed to be out of the ordinary. The next day, the girls go home from the sleepover and that night, Joelle goes to sleep. In the middle of the night though, Joelle woke up to what she thought was a woman screeching. She said the sound was like nothing you've ever heard. It was like an ear piercing, blood curdling, terrifying scream. Joelle shot up in bed and looked around her room, but her entire home was silent. Until the next day, Joelle woke up and heard her mother yelling for her and her brother to go to the bathroom that they would like share, the upstairs like kids bathroom. Joelle walks into the bathroom and sees her very angry mother standing in front of the bathroom mirror. The bathroom mirror was completely cracked. Now, Joelle's mom was furious because neither Joelle or her brother were confessing to what had happened to the mirror and they were the only two who used that bathroom. It was like the kid, the kids of the house, sorry,'s bathroom. The parents had their own ensuite. So her mom was absolutely furious that the two were not confessing and they were both equally mad at one another because both of them knew that neither one of them had done it. Something that felt weird to Joelle was that the night before she'd brushed her teeth, she'd went to bed, nothing was amiss in the bathroom. She woke up to that scream and then the next day the mirror was broken. But she just continued on as if nothing had really happened. But in the following years, every now and then, Joelle would wake up hearing a scream and occasionally see a woman without a face that was recognizable to her standing in her room. Joelle didn't think much of it and would go on to go to college, meet her sweetheart and get married. The two would go on to have a set of twins, a little boy and a little girl, and these babies would be their absolute pride and joy. At this point, Joelle had completely forgotten what had happened with playing Bloody Mary and the mirror breaking and none of it really meant much to her. In fact, she describes seeing the woman and hearing the shrieks as just some sort of weird nightmares or a dazed and confused interaction with nothing when she was half asleep. When Joelle's daughter was five years old, she started refusing to go to the bathroom at night. Now Joelle and her husband thought it was to do with it being so dark at night, so they put motion sensor lights into their home so that anytime their children would go to use the bathroom at night, they wouldn't necessarily have to wake them up and they could go and use the bathroom. One week, Joelle's daughter would continuously pee the bed at night because she was too scared to go into the bathroom. Joelle's daughter started going to get her at night every single time she would have to use the bathroom and Joelle thought this was a better solution than her daughter peeing the bed. But the problem with this was that after Joelle would escort her to the bathroom, the bathroom wasn't the problem anymore. It became her daughter's bedroom. In her daughter's bedroom was a little kid's vanity with a tiny little mirror in it. And in the middle of the night, Joelle's daughter would wake up screaming saying the woman was in her room. Things got so bad that Joelle's daughter started refusing to sleep in her own room. So Joelle started pushing her on who this woman was she was seeing. Because prior to her asking her daughter this, both Joelle and her husband thought this was typical child stuff, being scared of the dark or scared of the boogeyman, so to speak. But then they would quickly realize this was far darker. Joelle's daughter would go on to tell Joelle and her husband that the woman in the mirror had blood on her and that her name was Mary. At this point, Joelle didn't know what to do and despite it going against everything that she believed in, she decided to contact a medium. And what she would learn from the medium is absolutely chilling. The medium would tell Joelle that she had summoned something when she was younger through a mirror. Even going as far as to ask Joelle, did she ever break a mirror? Did a mirror ever break? and that's when it all came flooding back to her. It suddenly all made sense to Joelle, tying in what the medium had said and what her daughter had said. Her daughter was seeing a woman with blood on her who called herself Mary. The medium asked Joelle, had she ever broken a mirror? But after Joelle had played Bloody Mary all those years ago, the mirror had broken not too long after, and Joelle herself had had a couple of strange things happen. At first, Joelle was in complete disbelief because after the mirror broke when she was younger, she'd only seen like a woman in her room a couple of times, but she had heard the screaming. The medium told Joelle that she had called something forward that night and summoned something to the mirror 
and it had broken through the mirror and attached itself to her. But the medium would tell Jabal that the reason things were so much more traumatizing to her daughter was because the entity that had attached itself to Joelle was always looking for a child of its own. And so it had went for Joelle's daughter. Joelle said the medium had to perform several rituals to rid the attachment from herself and her daughter, and that after that, her daughter's nightmares completely subsided, and now her daughter is much older and doesn't even remember having seen a woman in the mirror or having been haunted by a spirit named Mary. But Joelle is convinced to this day that because she'd played Bloody Mary, an entity had attached to her that she believes was named Mary and had therefore went for her daughter. Now, I know that mirrors can be portals. There's plenty of people, myself included, who have seen spirits within mirrors. But with that being said, it makes me wonder if what came through the mirror had anything to do with having played Bloody Mary or if there had been something through that portal that had came forward when Joelle had played it. That's why I'm so curious to hear what you guys think of this particular encounter because I have so many thoughts and theories on it, but I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I think that through Joelle being open to playing the game, something came forward to that mirror and found a way to get out of the mirror. What I think is strange is that she only had a couple of experiences herself, went on to have a daughter, and that attachment passed on. But as I mentioned at the beginning of today's video, I am so curious to hear what you guys think of this. So please, please, please comment all of your thoughts and theories down below. And that is it for today's Bloody Mary experience. If you guys are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed but you do enjoy my content, I would seriously love it if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Remember my loves to do all things with kindness. And until next time, I love you.